All right, now let's take a look at example one. Okay, matrix A, which is a two by two matrix. All right, uh, is um, one zero five four. Okay, and of course matrix B as well is a two by two matrix. Um, two three one one and so on and so forth. Right now, we're supposed to find um, A multiplied by B. Okay, and then uh, B multiplied by A, B squared, and A multiplied by B multiplied by C. Okay, let's take a look at the first one first. A multiplied by B. Okay, so this is matrix A multiplied by matrix B, so this is what we get. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, of course, uh, this is as well a 2 by 2 matrix. So we know that, well, this can be done, this multiplication can be done, and of course, our answer eventually will be a 2 by 2 matrix as well. Okay, so let us. Uh, do it then. Okay, I hope you're following me as to how to do this as I'm doing it. I hope uh, you're also doing it mentally with me. Okay, so uh, first row, first column. Okay, so we'll take 1 multiplied by 2. Okay, so that'll give us a 2 plus 0 multiplied by 1. So that'll give us a 0. So it'll be 2 plus 0. Okay, so of course we we'll finish up with uh, this this first column. We'll go on to the next column. Okay, so it'll be 1 multiplied by a 3, so that will give us a 3. Okay, of course, and 0 multiplied by 1, that will as well give us a 0. Okay, so we have no more column to go. Okay, we'll go on to the next row for the first matrix. So the next row here, and then the first column, second row, first column. Alright, so 5 multiplied by 2, that will give us 10. Okay, plus, alright, 4 multiplied by 1, so that will give us a 4. Okay, so after we're done with this first column, we go on to the next column. So we have 5 multiplied by 3, so that will give us a 15. Okay, plus, and of course here, 4 multiplied by 1, that will give us a 4 as well. Okay, so working this out, seems rather easy, isn't it? So we do 3, 14, and of course this will give us a 19. Okay, so our answer is indeed... Um, 2x2 two two matrix as uh, what we know already. Okay, so let's take a look at BA now. Okay, now BA obviously means that well, this is matrix B multiplied by matrix A. Okay, so again, we do know that uh, this is multipliable and the other, the other, okay, it's the same as uh, in fact, the order will be the same as well. So let us just work it out then. Okay, now the first row, first column, okay, we'll get 2 multiplied by 1, okay, that will give us a 2. Okay, and of course the 3 multiplied by 5, and that will give us a 15. So it's 2 plus the 15. Okay, so we're done with the first column, we'll move on to the next column. Okay, so we have 2, alright, multiplied by 0, of course that will give us a 0, isn't it? Okay, plus, alright, we have 3 multiplied by 4, that will give us a 12. Okay, so we're done with the last column, and no more column to go, we'll go into the first matrix, second row this time. So we go to the second row, first column, so we have a 1 multiplied by 1, that'll give us a 1, plus 1 multiplied by 5, and that'll give us a 5 here. Okay, so proceed on, we get 0 and we get 4, alright, we simply get a 4 here. Alright, as you practice more, I hope you, can, you will be able to do this uh, multiplication faster. Okay, and of course, uh, when you do fast, you have to make sure that it's accurate as well. Okay, now, there's a very interesting result that we see from this uh, simple example here. Okay, um, is that your multiplication of A multiplied by B and B multiplied by A yield two different answers altogether. Okay, so it's rather strange, isn't it? Because in algebra, we learn that, well, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 3 multiplied by 2 is also 6. So what we're seeing here is the matrix. Okay, matrices as we do know them. Okay, they are not commutative. Alright, their multiplications are not commutative. Which simply means that, well, uh, in general, A multiplied by B is not a, uh, B multiplied by A. Okay, so this is in general. That's, you know, this is not true. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is uh, B square. Okay, and uh, how do we do B square? Alright, now, I have seen students who've done this before. Okay, which is uh, rather interesting, but I hope uh, to highlight to you something about this. Okay, so, well, they thought that, well, B is this matrix 2, 3, 1, 1, and therefore B square will, of course, be the square of this matrix, isn't it? So, many people... 
Okay, we think that, ah, okay, so this is square is not that difficult. It's just 2 square giving me a 4, 3 square giving me a 9, and of course this will be a 1 and a 1. Okay, so here we go. This is the B square. Now this is wrong. Okay, in fact, very, very, very wrong. So please, don't ever, ever make this mistake. Okay, so you're going to need some space here. So let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, good. Now, then how do we do our B square, isn't it? Okay, now B square simply means as the term implies okay means that well it's b multiplied by b okay so it's not so simple as to just square every element inside the uh, matrix and expect to get the answer so that's not the case okay so it will be simply this b multiplied by the same b itself okay and now uh, what we have to do will be simply the matrix multiplication over again okay so let us try this now Okay, first thing first, first row, first column, we have a 2 multiplied by 2, that will give us a 4, plus 3 multiplied by 1, that will give us 3, right? So 4 plus 3, that will give us a 7, as the first answer. Okay, as we move on to the next column, it will be 2 multiplied by 3, right? So that will give us a 6, 6 plus 3, that will give us a 9. Okay, and of course we are exhausted all the columns here. We move on to the next row. So it'll be one. Okay, one multiplied by two, which will give us a two plus one multiplied by a one. So they will give us a two plus one, right? They'll give us a three. Okay, so we move on to the next um, column. All right, so we have one multiplied by three, and of course one multiplied by one. They will give us a four. Okay, so this will be the answer for our b square. Okay, take note that is you realize they are not the same. Alright, now let's take a look at the last part of the question now. Okay, so now we're supposed to deal with ABC. Alright, so ABC, matrix C is this, 5, 2, 0, 1. So, what does ABC mean? Okay, so we're going to need more space here. Okay, now, A multiplied by B multiplied by C would simply be all right now one zero five four multiply by two three one one and of course lastly multiply by five two zero one okay now the first thing you do all right again you check Okay, so in this case, where well, this will be 2 by 2, this is a 2 by 2, and this is as well a 2 by 2, isn't it? So, well, these two matrices, you can multiply them together, you end up with a 2 by 2, correct? So this 2 tells you that, well, it can, be, it can be done, and of course, the outer two numbers tell you the order of the result. So you know that you end up with a 2 by 2. So this 2 by 2, again, will be multiplied by another 2 by 2, which is, you know, doable as well. Okay, so how do we do this? complicated looking type of multiplication okay nothing special really all we do is just do it slowly all right so uh, but there's something to learn from here okay so let us uh, just do it first okay first thing you do you do this two first all right so with first row first column we have a two okay multiply by uh, one multiplied by two and of course plus a zero so they will give us two okay of course here will be a three Okay, and a zero that will give us a three. Okay, move on to the next row, first column. They got ten, ten plus four, so they give us a fourteen. Okay, now of course here fifteen. Okay, fifteen plus four, they will give us nineteen here. Okay, so this will be the result of these two matrices multiplied together. Okay, of course now we're left with the last one to multiply. So we do the same thing as what we have been talking about. So first row, first column. So this will give us ten, right? So ten. 0, no, nothing to add. So it'll be 2 multiplied by 2, this will give us a 4. So 4 plus 3, that will give us a 7 here. Okay, likewise, after we have finished up with the uh, second column, we move on to the um, next row from the first matrix. Okay, so we have 14 multiplied by 5 plus 0. Okay, so 14 multiplied by 5, that will give us 70. Okay, then of course, lastly, we have. Uh, this is uh, 14 multiplied by 2, which will give us 28. All right, 28 plus 19. Okay, that will give us 47. Okay, so this will be the answer. Okay, the answer for A multiplied by B multiplied by C. 
Okay. Now, what is it that is interesting here? Some of you may start to ask: Is does it matter? Okay, if you do this two first, um, these two matrices multiply together first, or you know, does it matter if you do this two first, multiply these two first? Okay. Uh, the the fact of the matter is that well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Simply to say that well, what this example is trying to show you is that well, A B C. Okay. Whether you do A B first and then you multiply C is the same as okay if you were to um, multiply B and C together first and then use the result to multiply by A so this is called associative law okay so uh, for matrices they are associative okay but uh, as we figure out here okay in the first um, A times B and B times A realize that they are not commutative Okay, which means that uh, this properties has to be uh, rather familiar. Okay, you have to be rather familiar with all these properties so as not to make careless mistake in the future.